Winter is a season of rest and reflection in preparation for spring's new beginnings. Many of us have forgotten how to rest in our busy modern culture full of information, busyness, and seemingly never ending electric lights. Huga comes from the Danish culture and means a, a, a quality of coziness, of being comfortable and in community. It engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being. Starting Sunday, January 16th, I invite you to join me for a Huga make-along embodying this sense of coziness. Together we'll create a sense of community, coziness of course, warmth, happiness, joy, and meaningful community, creativity, and making together. Hi everyone, I'm Claire from the Mindful Knitter podcast on the Mindful Knitter channel on YouTube. Um, firstly, I apologize for my bad lighting. This is all I've got. <laughs> um, but welcome if you are watching this video, um, then you are possibly here for information on the make along that I'm hosting um, for the winter. This is a Huga make along. And if you're not familiar with Huga, it is a Danish concept um, embodying coziness, um, comfort, uh, community, um, connection, that sort of thing. And I was thinking that that sounded perfect for a winter make along. So um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information with this video on what this make along entails, how to participate and any other pertinent information for it. So to start with, our make along is going to start on January 16th, um, which is about a week and a half from when this video is going up. Uh, and it will end uh, the spring equinox, the first day of spring, March 20th. So uh, we're gonna have about uh, two months ish a little more um, to make coziness together so kind of the idea of this make along um, I'm looking at my notes <laughs> is um, uh, we're going to be trying to embody a uh, huga um, coziness um, community all of those sorts of things in this make along um, it is a make-along, not a knit-along, so you can bring any kind of crafting project that you want to for this. Um, no real rules about it. Uh, probably if it has to do with yarn, it counts. <laughs> um, honestly, if it has to do with fiber arts, we're going to say it counts. So things like embroidery and uh, quilting, uh, belting, you know, any of that thing, sort of thing. We're just going to count it because it's cozy. <laughs> um, and I don't want to exclude anybody from a little bit more coziness this winter. So, um, a little bit more about the make along. Um, so it's going to be again, January 16th to March 20th. Um, there will be prizes that will be available. Um, we're, we're not gonna have like a competition <laughs> with, with the cozy make along. Um, prizes will just kind of be drawn randomly. So as you um, uh, participate, we're gonna say there'll be a chatter prize and a um, at least one like craft prize. So uh, anytime you participate in Chatter on YouTube or the Ravelry group, um, you'll be entered into like a prize drawing. Um, anytime you submit a finished object, 
um, either to my email so I can share it on the podcast or you submit it to the Ravelry group. Um, any finished projects that are submitted will count as an entry into the prize drawing. So um, again, we have at least one prize for the uh, finished object and a prize for a chatter. Um, this I'm just going to throw out another call out for any donations for prizes. If you're a maker, if you're trying to de-stash things, if you just want to support the uh, make-along by donating something for a prize, uh, please feel free to comment on the video, um, message me on Ravelry, Instagram, um, you can email me. I would be uh, very grateful and happy to uh, accept any donations as prizes. Um, I think it'll make it more fun. So um, let's see, other things to mention. Uh, I will share the prize packages as they become available. I have two I am putting together at the moment. Um, they've got some cute things in them. Uh, there's, just to give you a little bit of a taster, there is a yarn bowl. Um, there will be some yarn. Um, there will be stitch markers. Uh, candles. I won't say anymore, um, but we've got some cute prize packages that we'll have available for this. So let's see other things. Um, uh, yeah, so I will, throughout the make along, I will be um, posting or providing here and there um, some uh, mindfulness practices, um, coziness, huga things, uh, winter self-care ideas or practices. Um, and I will also maybe throw in uh, one or two things like meditations, that sort of stuff. So uh, you'll be getting that along with the making of our coziness. Um, so let's see some group, some, um, make along rules, I guess, make along rules. So, uh, you need to be a member of the mindful knitter podcast group on Ravelry. Um, if you're going to be submitting things on Ravelry, <laughs> which makes sense. Um, if you don't use Ravelry, then that's fine. You can still participate. Um, if you want to be entered for prizes, then you'll just need to email me a picture of your finished object um, so that that can be a part of the, the, you know, the finished object prize pool, I guess. Um, and then if you're emailing me your project, uh, then also um, please participate in like the YouTube chat um, if that's possible. Um, but I won't, I won't make that a requirement for finished because some people might really want to submit a finished object, but they really don't feel comfortable chatting um, on YouTube. So I don't want to like make anyone do that if they're not comfortable with that. So yeah, you, you need to be a member of the Mindful Knitter podcast group if you're going to submit things on Ravelry. Um, and if, you know, you want to be entered in for any of the chatter prize prizes, then you need to be participating either in the Ravelry group chatter or, um, the, like, commenting or taking part on, in the, um, uh, videos on YouTube for the make-along. Um, particularly, I would say, ones where I'm sharing people's finished objects, um, but it doesn't have to be that. Really, I'm not gonna be super, super strict about these rules, honestly, <laughs> because I just want it to be something cozy and happy and fun and uh, social in the cold, dark winter months. <laughs> so I'm really not being too strict. If you've got questions about those things, you can feel free to let me know. Um, so the idea as far as projects that are eligible for prizes, um, the idea is that you make a project that embodies Huga for you. So that could be a particularly cozy and warm kind of project. Maybe it is bright and cheerful. Maybe it's very like relaxing or restful. 
Um, maybe it's a project that embodies like a sense of community. So maybe you're making it for somebody else or maybe you're making it with somebody else even. Um, anything that embodies huga. Uh, the whole point of the make along uh, is crafting, using craft to bring um, bright, cheerful, cozy joy into the dark, coldest season of the year. <laughs> so again, pretty loose rules around that. You can basically enter anything, but I would love it if you could share when you are kind of updating us on your project progress or, you know, when you're submitting a finished object, I would really love it if you could let us know um, how that project or the process of making that project embodies Huga for you. Uh, that'd be great. If you could give some other people some really good ideas that way as well. So let's see, there's that. Um, there's no minimum project size that you need to make to qualify for entry. Um, it could be any size project as long as it is bigger than like a dish towel. <laughs> a dish towel doesn't take very long to make. Um, if you did like a set of dish towels, that would be totally fine. Like if you were making a full like set, uh, like and a set could, you know, be more than, you know, three or more, um, you know, that could count. Um, again, uh, share how that embodies huga for you to be making those dish towels um but uh yeah one dish towel probably wouldn't count from <laughs> that's not much of a make along item um so yeah uh that would be my only kind of like exclusionary <laughs> uh criteria um is you know making a you know a vaguely substantial uh object. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Uh, you know, three dish towels or more worth. So socks are fine. A uh, hat is fine. A scarf or cowl. You could do a shawl. You could do a sweater if you're ambitious or a blanket. Whew. Um, but yeah, so no really, no, no size requirements other than that. Um, so no real minimum size requirement other than bigger than three dish towels or more <laughs> or washcloths or whatever. Uh, double dipping is fine. Uh, if you are uh, taking part in another make-along, um, feel free to use the project that you're using for that make-along for this one as well. Um, I don't mind at all. Uh, the more the merrier. Um, and uh, whips are allowed as long as they are less than halfway finished um, when the make along starts. So if you are only halfway through your project by January 16th, then feel free to enter it and, um, you know, keep working away at it during our make along. Um, yeah, anything, uh, more than halfway finished again is not going to be a, really a substantial enough project for it to feel like it, uh, I don't know, is make along E. <laughs> I don't know how to say that any better. Um, so whips that are less than halfway complete, uh, perfectly fine. Um, projects that are bigger than two dish towels, <laughs> perfectly fine. Um, yeah, and double dipping is also fine. Uh, I think that that is pretty much it for the rules for the make along. Again, if you have questions about any of that, please feel free to let me know. Um, I think that's pretty much all the important information to share. Um, there will be, I'll see about creating a tag on Instagram, um, but there might not be a good tag for it. I'll let you guys know if I do come up with a tag for it um, by the beginning of the make long. So by January 16th, if I can get a hashtag on Instagram for this, I'll share that with you guys in another like information video. Um, but other than that, uh, sharing your uh, objects on Ravelry um, or emailing them to me is the way to enter for prizes. But if you just want to be participating and you don't really care about prizes, um, feel free to you know participate in any way you want to. Um, you can uh, post things on Instagram and you can you know tag me the the dot mindful knitter <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, and that way we can kind of see each other's stuff that way. Um, 
yeah and again feel free to participate on Ravelry or email me or comment on the videos whatever you want to do um <laughs> to participate um okay so I think that's all of the important information yes so that's pretty much it I hope that you guys are gonna have fun with this um if you have any questions feel free to let me know uh, all of my information for my contact information is in the description below the video. So if you click the little uh, arrow below the video, it should give you a drop down um, with all of my contact information and uh, probably a little synopsis of this video as well. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys soon for this make along. I'm very excited to be hosting this and participating with you guys. Um, I will be sharing on January 16th what I will be making for the make-along. I am not entering myself for prizes, <laughs> so no worries. I just want to make along with you guys. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon for this.